Iblish Satan has nine children, who have spread nets all over the world to mislead people. Who is in charge of his nine children? What are the names of Iblis's parents? How did he become a devil? What kind of power did he seek from God? What are Satan's challenges? I will know everything in today's video. The word Satan is mentioned 63 times in the Holy Quran and the word Shaitan 18 times. Satan is man's open enemy on earth. In numerous places in the Quran, Almighty Allah has warned mankind about Satan. It said no more follow the path of Satan, he is undoubtedly your open enemy. Surah Baqarah verse 168 The father of Iblish was the son of Hamas, the fifth leader of the jinn and king. His name was Khabas. Khabas was shaped like a fierce lion. His nature was like that of a lion. On the other hand, there was an obvious cunning in his face. This Khabash was a favorite of the sinful jinns. Mother was the daughter of Hamas, the fifth leader of the jinn nation. His name was Leblis. He looked like a wolf. His nature was exactly like that of a wolf. A hadith narrates that Iblish was born from the union of Khabas and Liblas in the fire of hell. Therefore, the nature of this scene of parents and hell etc. were completely imprinted on the character of Iblis. Iblis was very intelligent and had great memory, once heard. He could remember that forever, so there was no need to tell him anything more than once. Iblis's father's friend used to teach Iblis, his friend would often say targeting Khabas. Friend the signs I see in your son. It seems that in the future he will surely become a great person. In 26,000 years of my teaching life, I have never seen a second in my life such a sharp-minded and brilliant student as your son Iblish. But unfortunately your son is very rude, arrogant and very stubborn. It does not bode well for his future. Note that when the angels destroy the jinn nation, the boy did not kill Iblis with mercy. Alta took him to heaven with the permission of Allah Taala to nurture him. They took him to the first heaven and taught him the rules and regulations of worshipping Allah Taala. He received education in a short time with very little comfort and worshipped Allah Taala in the first heaven for 1000 years. The angels in the first heaven were surprised to see the concentration and devotion of his worship. Iblis is the first after 1000 years of worship. The angels of the second heaven are very loving. He was called to them. Even after reaching the second heaven, he began to worship more than before. The angels of this heaven saw his worship and began to bless him. And hundreds of people began to praise him and they named Iblish Abad. After 1000 years of residence in the second heaven, the angels of the third heaven took Iblis to the third heaven. After reaching the second heaven, he started worshipping Allah with more absolute concentration and attention. He worshipped there for 1000 years. The angels here were also impressed by his worship and named him Ali. Then the angels in the fourth heaven received the permission of Allah Taala, took Iblis to the fourth heaven, and there too he started worshipping Allah with great concentration for a thousand years. The angels were pleased with his worship and named him Salah. Iblis being extremely talented, which was getting education. There is nothing wrong with that, so in a very short time from the angels, he gained so much experience in everything. Now his knowledge was greater than that of the angels. Similarly, the amount of worship of angels is waiting. His worship increased greatly. There was not a place left in the seven heavens and the earth where Iblis did not prostrate. The angels began to understand the worship of Iblis. They taught Iblis, now they have a lot to learn from that Iblis. So they all appealed to Allah Taala. If you raise your beloved Iblis to the throne. But we could learn a lot from him by listening to many valuable advices. Because he has acquired much more knowledge than us. Almighty Allah granted this request of the angels and brought Iblis to the throne. Arshay Mullah has a lofty minbar built by Yakut. 
the worship of Allah Ta'ala was engaged in that pulpit. During his free time of worship, he used to preach to the angels. The angels present were impressed to hear his was priceless advice. Everyone started praising him. Eventually he became known as Malaika Fereshta's teacher. Satan's crime, the first and foremost sin of Satan is not to prostrate to Adam alai salam. He has been envious of Adam alai salam since the beginning of creation and wished for the destruction of the human race. After the arrival of mankind on earth, his jealousy turned to anger and his only work is to lead people astray when Allah Ta'ala casts Satan out of paradise. Then he appealed to Allah in four matters, he asked four things from Allah. Even if he wants, give life to Allah till the day of judgment. Allah accepted the prayer, he was given life till the resurrection. The word of Allah is mentioned in the Quran, Iblish said, give me a chance until the day of resurrection. Allah Ta'ala says among the privileged, Surah Araf verse 15. Second I have to make a living, Almighty Allah accepted this request. I have to give people a chance to be invisible, this was also accepted. Shaitan said that I can move through the veins of the human body. Allah Almighty accepted this prayer, the Holy Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, said. Of course the devil can roam the veins of the children of Adam. Sahih Bukhari Hadith number 1288, Satan is determined to lead people astray. It is said in the Quran that Iblis said, O oh my Lord as you have led me astray, I will attract them all to the earth with various beauties and lead them all astray. I cannot harm your chosen servants. Surah Hijr verses 39 to 40. Allah said to Iblis, Surely you have no power over those who are my servants. But hell is the appointed abode of those who follow your path from among the misguided. Now let's know how to save from the harm of Satan or what is the way to save. There are various types of actions to avoid the harm of Satan. As described, seek refuge in Allah Ta'ala, and they say when you recite the Quran, ask Allah for help from Satan. Surah Nal verse 98 Ayatul Kursi etc has also been mentioned, caution the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said to keep the doors and windows of the house closed for half an hour after sunset. And don't let the children go out of the house, because at this time Satan moves. Shaitan cannot enter if the doors and windows of the house are closed. Sahih Bukhari Now let's find out, Iblish is about nine children of Satan. Those who keep people quiet and indulge in sinful activities. The name of the first child is Jaltana who controls the markets. And make your own flag. Second Vasam. This Vasam Sheta has taken the responsibility of endangering people. Lauri. Lauri lives with fire worshippers, Avon. Avon stay with the rulers and confuses the rulers. Half of half of is alcoholic. Those involved in alcoholism, the half of fooled with them, Mura, Mura is with the singers, Musabbid Musabbid whose job is to deliver the message of nonsense everywhere. Jasim restrains the people of the house from doing good deeds and instructs them to do bad deeds. Thus Jasim is the devil. Allahan Wudu Namaz is the work of giving bad advice to other acts of worship. May Allah Ta'ala help us all to escape from Satan's evil plans. Amen.